Good morning, everyone. Today is November 4th, 2025. I'm Chad Peters, President and CEO of Ridgeline Minerals. Ridgeline trades on the TSX under RDG and the OTCQB under RDGMF. And today is a day that I've been waiting for pretty much since I started this company, which is we finally are here to announce that we have a massive sulfide CRD discovery at our Selena project in Nevada. Now, so the Selena project is currently under phase one of an earn-in agreement with uh, South 32 Limited, and our partners at South 32 are funding a three-hole, $3.5 million U.S. program this year testing the Chinchilla Sulfide Target, which is a blind CRD discovery that we just made that hit up to 8.6 meters, grading 10% zinc, 21 grams silver, 0.3% lead, 0.1% copper, 0.1 grams per ton gold, here I'm still going on rattling off metals, and 0.1% antimony. So today we are announcing a high grade precious and critical metals discovery. Um, and it's an incredible day for us. I'm very excited. So um, what we are announcing so far is only the first two of four massive sulfide horizons that have been drilled testing the chinchilla sulfide target in hole 53. And I'm going to just try to zoom in here a bit on the sulfides, a little bit of a tricky mouse here. So bear with me. There we go. That's not bad. Um, and so when you look at this picture here, what should you take away? Well, as you can see in the dark and kind of brassy uh, colored zones here, which makes up essentially the entire image, you're seeing massive sphalerite, which is your zinc minerals, pyrotite, pyrite. You're also seeing galena and calcopyrite, which are your silver and your copper metals. Uh, minerals. And, um, you know, what's really exciting about this is we've hit up to an in individual samples up to 27% zinc, up to 379 grams per ton silver. We've hit up to 7% lead, a gram and a half gold, up to 0.4% copper and 2.6% antimony across individual samples within this zone. Um, so that just highlights, I think, the incredibly high grade nature of the system. It's only the first um, drill program, and we're already hitting multiple masses, massive sulfide horizons. And I think if we're going to really highlight anything today, I want to highlight the potential scale here. So I'm going to zoom, try to get down here to the next the plan view image. There we go. So here's a plan view map showing the system. Now, we've always maintained that we felt that the Selena project was a direct analog to the deposit style and the deposit scale of what uh, South 32 is currently putting into production at their Taylor project in Arizona. Now that project is 150 million tons of about 7% um, about lead zinc combined, um, around 80 grams silver and about 0.1, 0.2% copper. Now, really important to point out, obviously I am not saying, I think legally, I am not saying that this after only one drill hole is the next Taylor deposit. But what I wanna highlight is the scale. Right, so this chinchilla sulfide uh, uh, MT target, which is right here, just outlining right there, that is over two kilometers long, north to south along the BB prime line, and over a kilometer and a half wide at its thickest. So this is a very large anomaly, and it only and it's blind, right? It's under shallow cover. We can't see the mineralization at surface. This is just a projection of that MT um, survey at depth, and in only the second hole, we're hitting multiple intercepts of high grade massive sulfides. So I'm gonna try to get down here into figure two. Let's see here if I can get her done, there we go. I will zoom in on this guy as well. This is a long section between chinchilla oxide, the Butte Valley porphyry and the chinchilla sulfide target. We have multiple massive sulfide horizons still pending. We've drilled right through the core of this anomaly, hit multiple intercepts all the way down up to, like I said, 1.1 meters of over 27% zinc, 60 gram silver, gram and a half gold, 0.7% lead and 0.4% copper. So just an incredible metal budget, very high grade. We have much wider intercepts of up to 17 meters of 6% zinc. I mean, we're really just getting started on this um, new discovery and um, both us and our partners are very excited with what we're seeing so far. So next we're gonna look, again, we're talking about scale, here are the system I'm just outlining here. It's a kilometer and a half wide east to west, right? That's that MT anomaly that is hosting mineralization. Then if we go down, we're gonna now look at figure three, which is looking the other way. I'm gonna get rid of those notations there. Now we're looking from uh, north to south and you can see that hole 53, it's actually the deepest hole, right? That's the deepest part of the anomaly. It actually shallows considerably as we drill to the north. Hole 54 is gonna be about a 700 meter step out to the north, 
right into the guts of the anomaly, slightly shallower than hole 53, same structural um, target. And um, we'll start drilling that uh, probably in about a week. We're actually just finishing up the bottom of hole 53 right now. So um, I'm going to keep this as brief as I can. I could talk about this all day. I'm going to wave my arms around, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is a huge day for Ridgeline and shareholders, right? We have a world-class geophysical anomaly that is now hitting massive sulfide intervals right where we said they were going to be, downtrend of an existing discovery we made over four years ago um, and just had trouble getting traction on in a, in a tough market. So this is a really big day for us. Um, I suggest that you reach out to me. My email and phone number are on the bottom of every press release. I'm happy to set up a Zoom meeting, talk about the significance of these results in more detail. Um, and yeah, well, you're going to have lots more news coming. Um, we're going to have assays from the bottom of hole 53, as well as all of hole 54, um, which will be finished around the middle of December. Um, and then on top of that, we still have assays pending from our Black Ridge project, from our SWIFT project, our partners at Nevada Gold Mines. These are gold plays. So um, an incredible amount of news coming in November, December, and into next year. Um, and I thank you all for your time.